Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Man, it's been a while, hasn't it? Too long for me. It's been a busy, a really busy two weeks. <clears throat> it's been a it's been jam-packed full of life and stuff, and I didn't have time for soda, which sounds weird, but I didn't. So we're gonna review a summer soda today. Um, Red Bull Summer Edition. See this? Um Karuba Elderflower. And what better day to review a summer soda than a day where there's a thunderstorm going on? That's cool. That's just how it works out sometimes. Anyway, we have the Red Bull Summer Edition. I got this at a Walmart, I think. Karuba Elderflower. I don't know what either of those taste like. I don't know what either, hopefully you can hear the thunder. If not, that looked crazy. I don't know what either of those taste like. I'll just tell you if it tastes good. Anyway, here's our ingredients. I've lost it. There they are. It's quite dark in here. Um, carbonated water, sugar, glucose, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, natural and artificial flavors, colors, just colors, caffeine, niacinamide, pyrox, no, pyro, pyrodoxine, 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 HCL, vitamin B6, calcium, panthenate, vitamin B12, Distributed at Red Bull, North Carolina, and Corporate Edison, and California, and I have to Um, it's kind of hard to see in here. It's quite dim in my car today, and that can is painfully cold. Let's give it a, let's crack it open and see what Karuba and Elderflower taste like. Let's see what we got here. Focus. kind of a pale yellow. Um, I would shine the flashlight through it, but it's currently being my light on this side of my face, so I can't really do that. But it's a pale, come on, focus. It's a pale yellow, kind of like, kind of like an ale, kind of like a beer. I guess a lighter beer, I assume. There's a, I guess a hint of redness to it. Scent-wise, it's very fruity, very flowery. Maybe I'm saying flower because it's elderflower. Maybe I'm being influenced. I probably am. I should look up what Karuba is. Let's do that right now. That's always good TV when someone Googles something while they're on the, uh, while they're actually doing the thing. Okay, Karuba, also known as banana passion fruit, is a tropical fruit that grows on vines up to 20 feet tall. Karuba is rich in aroma and has a sweet and sour taste. All right, now we know it. It do does taste sweet. I mean, smell sweet. It is kind of tangy. Initial burst is um, as a sweetness, and it does taste like a passion fruit. Um, but there's a bit of a bitterness on the back end, but it's a good bitterness because it's mixing with, once again, a sweetness. Hmm. This tastes like something you would mix with alcohol. Um, try it out. Mix this with alcohol. Tell me what you think. But the, the sweetness isn't overly sweet. 26 grams of sugar for this, what is this, eight ounce can? Yeah. So a 12 ounce can would be about 39 grams of sugar. So about the same as a Coke. It's a complicated taste though. It's a passion fruit. I don't know what elderflower tastes like at all. Maybe that's the bitterness on the back end that I'm getting. Um, I feel like over the years I've said bitterness on the back end enough times to where that should be trademarked. Just get some shirts that say bitterness on the back end. Party in the front, bitterness on the back end. 
It's really good though. And I think it's just because I read the word banana that um, earlier, you know, when I was doing the thing, that I taste a bit of banana in this. I was holding off whether I was going to tell you or not, because I was like, surely that's just influencing me. But it does taste, have a little bit of banana taste to it, at least in my brain. And it is yellow like a banana. But it's, it's fruity. Um, it's, and it's a complicated, it's not, it's... It's a lot of different flavors going on in here. Bit of a passion fruit, bit of a banana. Um, it is a it is a bit tangy, a little bit sour. Well, that's empty. Now I've got to go to the shot glass. This has warmed up a bit since it wasn't in the can. The bitterness hits a little sooner with a slightly warmer beverage. It does taste a little smoother, though, which is nice. I will say the mouth, the uh, aftertaste is that it's kind of sticking to the sides of my mouth. A little bit, little bit syrupy, um, and it is that bitter aftertaste. But not, again, not bitter in a bad way. Not bitter in a, I'm just stuffing coffee grounds in my mouth kind of way. Bitter in a soda way. So there's definitely a sweetness with it at all times. That was tasty. Um, is my favorite Red Bull flavor? No. Would I get it again? Yeah. It's pretty good. You should try it out. If you drink Red Bull, try it out. It's always fun to try the new flavors. Again, that's what this whole thing's about. Trying new things. Spend your $2 and try a Red Bull Karuba Elderflower. Just so you can say you did. You know what else you can say you did? Visit thesodajerk.net with over 1,000, that's how many, soda reviews. SodaJerk.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. I've now done over 900 personally. <laughs> Just wait till I get to a thousand, and I erase every other review. I actually haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. We'll find out. The SodaJerk.net. I haven't tried them all yet. <laughs> Do 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 do